recording. This is Corey Roth, and I'm meeting here with uh, Miguel Wood. And uh, we're just talking out here after the uh, keynote. Well, I love the keynote. I thought it was very interesting. Scott Gu actually got up and started yes, talking. Yes, so absolutely. I've seen Scott Gu at several other conferences, obviously Mix here in Vegas uh, when they used to run it here. But it was good to actually see that link, if you will, between the development and SharePoint. There seems to have been in, in previously a little bit of a disconnect sometimes uh, from hardcore ASP.NET development uh, to SharePoint, to SharePoint platform. So that was actually something I really enjoyed. Yeah, I, I, I did too. I did too. Good and to he's a great there. presenter, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you remember, we saw him back in the back early as well. Sure. Not next to actually, the really used to call it here yep. was eight years ago. But right. He was just working on Visual Studio. Yep. Um, yeah, he is an ASP.NET guy. Uh, so is there anything in the SharePoint 2013 that you're excited to there, there is. It's funny. I actually read one of your blog posts on the search, and the search, of course, is very oh, interesting. Yes. Because we're, we're, you know, part of the, I've actually been trying to explain to clients, especially since uh, we had the public preview, uh, that previously SharePoint has really been more of a database-driven web application. Now I would actually shift it a little bit to almost it is a search-driven application. So much much, it is, no, it really is. Metadata has become much more important. Enterprise metadata. That seems to be, uh, in my opinion, for some of my clients, seems to be one of the things that should run into as far as challenges. They really have to get an idea of what their information is, how to classify it. Obviously, information architecture is even more critical now in 2013 than it was in, in previous versions. So, so the uh, MC rotation to come together for the next cycle? Yes. Are you going to yes. jump in on this cycle? Or? Um, so we have a beta that's actually starting uh, in December. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. We've, uh, there's obviously another MCM in, in my company, uh, Shannon Bray. Yes, yes. So we are. He's here. <laughs> he's here. He's actually speaking. We're doing three, three talks. Three. Wow. Uh, so I decided to kind of bow out of doing any speaking just because the presentation takes a lot of time away from business. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to go through. The first ones, at least till the end of the fiscal year of 13, are all going to be hybrid rotations. So uh, I think a lot of folks are also kind of waiting for that first full immersion, three week, typically three week uh, uh, rotation. I understand right the hybrid. Of Rotation is a combination like a week yeah, out yeah. front, outside, and then Correct. several and ten weeks, weeks of, right? Ten weeks of uh, two four-hour sessions per week. And for consultants, that's very, very difficult. So um, either you do the do the beta, which happens to co coincide with the, the holiday season or anything else. Right. <clears throat> I've already talked to my wife about that. That's going to be interesting <laughs> to go ahead and pull that one off. But no, it's uh, something we have to do. Um, we uh, The new certification is now called the MCSM, or Microsoft Certified Solutions Master. Uh, so we have to recertify every three years. Um, we have been grandfathered here at SharePoint 2010 MCM and been grandfathered until January of 2014. So we have to recertify by then. So a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Not a, not a lot. Not a lot when it comes to concerns how much uh, content you have to be concerned with. Yeah. Well, thanks, Miguel. No, my pleasure. Good seeing you anyway. Thank sure you. We'll see you uh, yes, you will. Have a good one.